All right, folks, back to the breaking news. Massive manhunt still underway for a man suspected of shooting and hurting 10 people on a busy New York City subway train and a platform this morning. We're still standing by for a news conference on that subway shooting. We'll bring it to you as soon as it begins. Let's bring in national correspondent Mike Carter for breaking news right now. Mike? Hey, Chris, good to be with you this afternoon. Well, uh, as we've been saying all day on Newsmax, Chris, the manhunt is underway here in New York City for a man who opened fire in a subway station here in New York City about 8.30 this morning, Tuesday morning. You can imagine rush hour on a New York City subway trains, uh, carnage breaking out across social media. What we've been seeing is smoke billowing out of subway trains. That's a northbound N train, Chris, which goes from Brooklyn into the middle of New York City, Manhattan, that was on its way with busy commuters this morning. You can see them exiting the subway platform right there. What we know is uh, this suspect who was last seen at that station uh, was dressed in a green construction vest wearing a gas mask. You saw that gas right there. Apparently, he opened up a gas canister on that train and then began randomly firing at will. What we know is more than a dozen people have been injured, at least 10 people people have been shot. Five people are injured critically right now. Now, police were underway this afternoon, Chris, on the lookout for a U-Haul van in connection with this shooting. Uh, that van has now been located in Brooklyn. We're not sure exactly what ties that, ha that van did have to what happened earlier this morning, but we do know that this suspect is still on the loose here in New York City. Another bit of information that broke later earlier this afternoon uh, in the subway station, Chris, they did locate a handgun with three magazines in that handgun. One was nearby on the ground. One was connected to a backpack with this suspect. Another magazine was jammed in that gun. And police right now, Chris, are saying because that gun got jammed, a lot of people's lives may have been saved. But that manhunt is still underway right now in New York City. We're awaiting another press conference here this hour. We're waiting to hear uh, what the latest is, what happened here. This neighborhood that this... Uh, shooting took place in, Chris, Sunset Park, uh, Brooklyn. This is not a tourist part of New York City. This is mom and pop shops, restaurants. Uh, these are everyday people, uh, middle class people just looking to wake up in the morning and go to work. So for this happening in this neighborhood in particular, a relatively safe neighborhood, just really blows a lot of people away. Mike Carter, great to see you. Thanks for the update tonight. Appreciate it.